when you hear these talking points about being a wife, being a mother, what is expected uh, from a black woman, what are your thoughts about that? And just how you, how do you feel knowing that you are the uh, type of person a man wants to marry and you are the type of mother uh, for, for uh, one's household? What is your take when you hear all these talking points? I think I'm just the best way I've ever heard it described was from uh was from Cody out the mud Cody mm-hmm. he was like just hide the bitch under the bed dick dog you know that that's what I hear <laughs> just hide the bitch under the bed then because <laughs> apparently she can't do nothing it's like okay so. <laughs> Because it's like this, okay? On the one hand, you know, they say about the whole older man, younger woman thing, you want to get them young while they're impressionable and all this kind of stuff like that, right? So you can mold them into who you want them to be as a wife. But then at the same time, because she is so impressionable, that's the very same reason you don't want her to go outside because you don't want another nigga in her ear because she ain't got a mm-hmm. mind of her own. It's like, okay, so what are we talking about? What are we yeah. talking about and why are we talking? <laughs> that... <laughs> that is a good one. Shout out to Cody, man. He is necessary. Um... And they, yeah. you know, they, they, they think I'm starting this. She still go to the club as a wife. She for the streets. And I'm like, okay, so how about you get to know your wife to know whether or not she has a mind of her own and actually mm-hmm. really likes you and wouldn't step out on you, whoever the fuck is in her ear. And see, and this is why, and this is where people get in my son cause, and this is something that I mentioned in my uh, marriage series uh, regarding the type of person you were, the things that you can put up with, the things that you can handle, and some of the things you cannot handle. Like, if your wife is, if your wife is just, uh, I guess, for the street type of woman, I would say is this, did you, when did you know that she was a street type of woman? And there was like, uh, and I'd be like, exactly. You missed the signs a long time ago. A long time ago. That's why I always tell tell everybody. Know your strength. Know your weaknesses. Know your role. Know your spouse. And then um, go find your spouse. See, if people do all of that in that particular order, they ain't got to worry. They know what type of woman they want to be with. They know what, what they can deal with, what they can handle, and what is unacceptable. Like... And uh, to what Cody was saying, see, uh, when we went to uh, Dallas a couple of weeks ago for the uh, meetup, the uh, Patreon meetup, while I was uh, talking, networking with people, I left my wife at the table. She was with, uh, uh, I forgot her name, Quintin's. She was with Quintin's, one of Quintin's people. She was with Jenna. She was with another young lady. Like, I'm chilling to the side doing my own thing and talking to my own people. And guess what? My wife is very fine. My wife is very attractive. Some of y'all seen her and saw how she looked like. I'm doing my own thing. And she's she's just talking to people. Yes, I know dudes are going to holler. I try to holler at her. And I know she's going to play her part and say, uh, I'm married, but thank you. And that's why when I was talking to uh, the women there, I was letting her know, I'm just me. My wife is over there. So, if you if you had the baddest thing walking, expect people to acknowledge that, right? And I and I think that's the disconnect that a lot of people have. So when we out and about, I know that's my baby. Now she's not dressing, she's not exposing anything. It's just right. natural beauty and that type of stuff. But knowing how beautiful she is, I know people are going to approach her. The question is. How are you going to handle it? I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to be doing me because I know what type of woman I got. She's not going to cross that line and she's not going to let anybody else cross that line. Right. And like, you know, when my husband met me, I wasn't dressing, you know, like a thought or nothing like that, you know, because I'm 
this is you talking to somebody that doesn't even feel or when I before I even had kids I did not feel comfortable wearing a bikini to the beach or a bikini to a pool type stuff you know what I mean because it just felt you like I was walking being around a in my drawers boy, no. you <laughs> being a boy, it no, felt like I, I was walking that. around in my damn drawers <laughs> so you know um I'm not the type of person that'll just you know show my midriff and wear extra short shorts like that without you know well now I do but not even like that like I think I had maybe two pair I wore one of them once and the other ones I wore like three times and mm. the third time was just fairly recently you know what I mean that's just that's just not how I am I I try and dress girly you know what I mean I have to actually put forth an extra effort to do so um but yeah his only complaint with me was um I used to wear backless shirts all the time that was my thing before the kids I was always in a shirt that didn't have no back um mm-hmm. and other than that he I mean he just throw little comments out there because um you know I never went overboard like remember Beyonce back in like the late 90s um if she had on a small top then she had on full long pants or if she had on short shorts then she had on a full top where it covered everything that's basically me kind of balanced itself mm-hmm. out so when I wore a backless shirt I had on jeans and like some heels or something like that you know but he just throw like little comments out there talking about some so you just don't own no whole shirt huh you know stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> he would throw shit out there like that which was funny you know but it never wasn't a problem because the one thing I can't say about my husband if he has a problem with something there's no guessing he's just gonna say it you know what I mean mm. I don't think you should wear that or he'd be like I want you to go change clothes you know something like that or one or go put this on instead yeah, I and never, I never, yeah, slow to your because I never had that conversation with my wife because how she, she knows how to dress and she's always covered up. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have to worry about any ass being shown, any cleavage being shown, none of that. She's a classy, she's a classy woman and still beautiful at the, at the end of the day. That's the least of my worries. Mm-hmm. And you know, like this is one shirt that I had. Um, I'm still saving it because I'm hoping one day I'll be able to put it back on. Um, but it's this one shirt that I have where it comes down like this. You know, it shows cleavage and everything like that. And it's, and it's the same design in the back. So the back is like darn near backless almost, or it's like mm-hmm. a low back. But you know, I got my little safety pin and pinned it right here. So, you know, wouldn't nothing be flying out, stuff like that. He didn't have to tell me anything. He was fine with the shirt. So, you know, it's just, it's a couple of few items that, you know, and depending on where I'm going at the same time, then he'll be like, mm, I don't think oh, that ain't a good idea, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, they'd be like, oh, well, you know, the people on the panel I'd be like, oh, well, you shouldn't go out because what if something happens and da 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 He ain't worried about, he ain't worried about me. I, I hang with some shooters. Let's just put it like that. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that's, a, that's ATL for you. If you don't know, that is Atlanta. That is Atlanta. 